Hey guys, and welcome back to this After Effects tutorial on how to create an ice over effect just like the one I made last week in my visual effects teaser, Dementor. It's a pretty simple effect to achieve, so let's get started. But first, run titles. <laughs> So here we are in After Effects. Now the first thing I'm going to do is of course create a new composition. I'm going to be naming mine Ice, but all of the other settings can be left as they are or adjusted to however you need them. And once this is done, you can go ahead and create a new solid. Now the settings on the solid can be left as they are as well, including the colour. We'll be changing this a bit later on anyway, so it doesn't matter too much what that is. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and once that's done, I'm going to be adding a fractal noise to my solid. With this fractal noise, we're going to want to adjust some of the settings. We'll start with the fractal type. We want to change that to threads, which is all the way at the bottom. Then adjust the contrast to about 2500, and then take the brightness down to about minus 1000. Once this is done, you're going to want to change the complexity as well to about 1.5 and then open up the sub settings and change the sub influence to 145.5. What this gives you is something that looks absolutely nothing like ice, but if we go back into the effects panel and add a fast blur, then drag that onto our solid and up the blurriness to about 5 you'll see we've still got nothing that looks like ice, which is fine. There's a little bit more work to this than that. Uh, this is simply just the animation of it. So take your playhead to the end of where you want your ice to come in and create a keyframe at the contrast. Then take it back to the beginning of where you want it to come in and then just adjust your contrast to something around 400. What this will give us is a nice animation of the ice sort of creeping onto the glass or the screen, whatever you're doing this for. For me, I use the window when the Dementors sort of turned up, so this sort of worked really well. Now that we do have that, this layer is complete, so we can go ahead and turn the visibility off and then create a new solid. Much like the previous, we don't need to change any of the settings and we also need to add another fractal noise. This time we want to adjust the contrast to 2200, the brightness to minus 20, then move down to the complexity and change that to 10, and once again open up the sub settings and change the sub influence to 125, and this time we're also going to want to change the sub scaling down to 50. Once you've done that, go down to your timeline and move this layer below the first one. This puts it in the right position for the track mat we need to add. So go ahead and go to your track mat and add a Luma mat. Now if we play back, you'll notice we've sort of got a bit more broken up space between it. It still doesn't look like ice, but that's what the next layer is for. And that's what we're going to do now. Go back to your layer and this time you want to add an adjustment layer. With this adjustment layer, just make sure it's above everything else and then go ahead and add a vector blur drag and drop that onto your adjustment layer and then we're going to want to change some of the settings. First you want to change the type to constant length, switch the amount up to 500, the angle offset to plus 10 and then the ridge smoothness up to 100. We're also going to want to take the map softness up to 40 and then what that should give us is something that looks a bit more like ice. If we give this a quick playback, you'll see that's exactly what we have. This nice sort of icy effect slowly building up and covering the screen or window or whatever you want to use this for, but we're not quite done. You want to go ahead and select all the layers and pre-comp them by pressing Command Shift C on a Mac or Control Shift C on a PC, then rename this something along the lines of ice. And uh, what we have then is this nice pre-comp of three layers. Now, if I just skip in a little bit and then turn the transparency up, you'll notice we have loads of different black bits, which isn't what we want. To get rid of this, we once again want to create a new solid. Now, if you want to change the color of your ice effect, this is when to do it. You could leave it at white if you want, but I'm going to change mine to a sort of pale blue. Now, this isn't to say you can't use any color on the spectrum if you want to make some sort of red ice. I don't know why you would, but you know, uh, you can do that at this point. Once this is done, drag your color layer below the ice layer and then add another Luma mat to this. What this does is pretty much get rid of all the black bits and basically create the final ice effect. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle the transparency back on and then I'm gonna pre-comp these together and just call it final ice. And now that that's done, we can do one final thing to really help sell this effect. And for this step, we're gonna create yet another solid effect. Now, this is gonna be sort of an exterior fog. So I'm gonna change mine to white. Once that's done, I'm going to go over to the mask tool and change it to an ellipse. And then I'm going to go back onto it, but this time double click it. And what this will do is draw a nice sort of oval onto it. 
and once that's there we can go down into the mask settings and click subtract. I'm also going to want to zoom out a little bit so let's go ahead and do that and that's because I'm going to need to scale this layer up so the ellipse is just outside of the vision. So open up your scaling by pressing S then up it until it's just outside and we should be able to see pretty easily there that is now out. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and go back into the mask and this time we're going to adjust the feather. So press F on your keyboard to open up the feather options and then take it up to about 500. This is where we want the feather to end up. So go right to the end of your timeline and set a keyframe on that feather and then right to the start, then adjust the feather so it's a lot lower, around 20. If I solo this layer and give it a quick playthrough, you'll notice that feather just slowly creeps in around the edges, which really adds to this effect. And with that, we have our final ice over effect. As you can see, the ice slowly creeping in with that nice sort of condensation, misty sort of fog just surrounding the edges. My final bit of advice with this effect is you might want to pre-comp everything together and name it something along the lines of all, then overlay it on top of an image and you might want to select the mode and change it to something along the lines of overlay. This will give it a bit more of a transparent look. Once you've done that, duplicate the layer by pressing Command D or Control D on a PC and this gives you a nice sort of transparency look to the entire effect and if we give that a final playthrough, you'll see we've achieved what we were after. Well, that was how to create an ice over effect in After Effects. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do be sure to check out my other tutorials in my tutorial playlist on my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.